Today's vlog is gonna be in English. I'm gonna go see the movie Buddha Collapse Out of Shame from the director Hannah McMalbeth. I hope this movie is gonna be good. It's an Iranian movie. Uh, I'll see you soon. Ciao. Go see, I'm gonna go see uh, Buddha Collapse Out of Shame. It's an okay. Iranian movie from Hannah McMalbeth. You heard uh, about it? Yeah, I wanna see that, but no, I haven't. I mean, that's not the one I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see, um, hello. I'm gonna see Caramel, so I have to go inside. Tu voudrais bien te présenter une seconde, là? Oui, salut, uh, je m'appelle, uh, je m'appelle Natasha, et je suis ici pour voir Sim uh, Caramel. Merci. <laughs> Bonsoir, bienvenue au Festival du Nouveau Cinéma. Nous sommes très heureux ce soir de vous accueillir pour la projection de Buddha Collapse the Shame. Euh, vous êtes en fait très chanceux pour avoir ce film parce que c'est l'un de ceux qu'on a reçu à la dernière minute. Euh, on n'avait plus de copie disponible, une copie a été perdue en mer et euh, Christa Film a accepté de fabriquer une autre copie la semaine dernière pour qu'on puisse vous le passer, donc on l'a reçu, euh, je pense, il y a 3-4 jours. Donc euh, on est très très heureux que vous puissiez être là. Well, we we just uh, we just came out from the movie uh, Buddha Collapse Out of Shame, and uh, I'm with uh, Mona Tajali. Hello. So you have Mohsen Mahmalbaf, which is his, his the father, and then you have Samira, and then you have Hannah. And Samira and Hannah, they both stopped going to school and they actually started making movies so early on. And a, a lot of the, my previous work that I had done was actually focused on Samira Mahmalbaf. That's because of the fact that she, the movies that she makes has a very feminist approach to it, which is something that's very unique. I mean, not, not only to mention that you have uh, a 15-year-old girl actually producing a movie that is so recognized internationally and she's won so many awards for this so that's one feminist part of it the other part of it is actually um, going into these societies and actually showing Iranian women and showing um, the problems that they face so basically uh, what would be your personal views on this movie well I really thought that this movie was a creative way of actually showing the social, political, economical problems of the regions. I mean, usually Iranian cinema is like that. Iranian cinema, that's why it's considered so creative in the West, is because it doesn't directly do it, it just does it in a very nuanced way. And that's why it actually uses children a lot. So I'm not sure if you've seen a lot of movies such as White Balloon, The Children of Heaven, these are really famous Iranian movies that they've only used children because of the fact that using adults would be very direct attack at the situations and they use children because children are obviously innocent but at the same time they do have the power to critique. So children, if a, if a child says, yeah, this is messed up the way it is right now, the people who are censoring the movies or the media in the government, they're actually going to be like, oh, that's a little kid saying that. It's not so horrible. Whereas if an adult was to do this, then it would be a very big political statement. So which is why majority of Iranian movies um, actually use children and they're very successful with it. You were saying also that uh, Samira Mahmanda, her latest movie was in Afghanistan also, no? There is a lot happening in Afghanistan right now that people can do more with it, such as subject-wise. But at the same time, there is, it's not to say that Iran is perfect, right? So a lot of them are saying that they're actually going to Afghanistan because they're not being given the permission to actually shoot movies in Iran. So, like Samira, and similarly with this case in Hannah, she was actually forced to go to Afghanistan. And once you make a link with Afghanistan, such as make one or two movies, then you, then you get the hold of it and then you can do it. So that's why a lot of these movies that are actually illustrating the political and the social problems are from Afghanistan. And there's a few coming from Iran, but not as much from Afghanistan. What do you think are the main uh, points of departure, uh, like a Western audience interpreting this movie and, um, you know, somebody such as yourself who is familiar with the region. So sometimes that actually scares me is, is um, whether the point that the that the director is actually trying to get across is going to be is going to be getting across in that similar way in the Western audience because of the fact that I mean for instance um, she the movie had, had a lot to do with stoning 
right? Mm. And stoning is such a horrible thing that, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if the Western world really, really accepts this or really understands what it's about. But when you see a little kid using the word stoning, or um, another quote that um, the movie talked a lot about was, die and this is how you'll be free. So this is really extreme way of, of definitely listening. that this is what's going on and this is not all right and this is very serious and for us, I'm, I'm just scared that maybe stoning and maybe these types of violence become more of an abstract because of the fact that we're not really seeing it. But I think what she wanted to get across was that, and that's why the movie is actually titled, This is B Buddha Collapse Out of Shame, is to say that Afghanistan is a type of society that has been through all sorts of violence. I mean, this society has never seen um, a brief period of peace, right? So first it went through the communist regime, and then it was Taliban, and now you have the uh, American occupation there. So these children are just born with this, with this sense of violence. I mean, stoning to them is a game, is a fun. Um, dying for them is the ultimate end. And that's that's what she's trying to get across. And I just really hope that the Western world really does understand this. And I think it's very similar to what's going on with Israel and Palestine as well, right? Like, like the youth in those areas are just so bombarded with violence that they don't see an alternative except for death. So it, it's a very sad, sad, real issue that's going on right now. Hmm. There's a lot of other movies too that are that are using Afghanistan, that are using the the difficulties of it. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about the movie like Blackboards, the Blackboard. No. Yeah, it's it's basically just showing the extreme extreme poverty, but at the same time, like the really interesting thing with these movies is that it shows the absolute negative, right? It shows poverty, it shows death, it shows violence. But at the same time, it really shows how the individuals in that society are trying to overcome this. So for instance, with that girl, she went through all this trouble to get a notebook, and at the end of it, she did, you know? And I mean, like, like they still live their lives. Um, they're human beings, obviously. So once you put a lot of obstacles in, in front of them, they can still um, overpass them. But yes, it is, it is difficult. And I think that's where the art of it comes out of, is, is for a movie to be able to illustrate all this.